Welcome back, everybody. We're back, and you figured it out. Well, yeah, I wouldn't go that far yet. You haven't actually seen <laughs> well, it. Well, the little puzzle piece here that says FZ30 slash FZ60, we need one of these first, and I'm going to buy the expensive one because... I just yeah. hope that that... I don't know what... Because <clears throat> one of them says the one of them says one thing, one of them says another. I hope our tractors work with it, whatever it is. Ugh. Well, we purchased it. I hope so, man. It's right here next to me now. Uh, uh, now let's see how this thing connects up. God, that would suck if it did not connect. You know, in that last episode, we were talking about that hi-fi song. Um, that's another song. It's kind of like that one uh, um, about leaving the fan on. Um, I, I always like the the, the, the multi-use of the word weak. Like how the song ends, she makes me weak. After he'd been oh, yes. using weak as like a this passage of time before. One of the bands that was so great for the Eve 6 is a map. Well, that's what I was talking about. They they did the whole, yeah. thing, you know, the whole bit about the fan. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about with that, but then they didn't say she makes me weak because that was American I Five. Right. But yeah, well, Amer uh, but they they do the the fan. I don't even remember the exact fan lyric, but I still remember from Open Road Song. Eve Six says, "You know, I, I crack the window and feel the cool air cleanse my every pore as I pour my poor heart out." <laughs> oh my god! So it's, it's three <laughs> uses of the word "pour" in yeah. like one lyric, and I always thought that was like phenomenal. <laughs> By the way, I can't figure out how to connect this into my tractor. <laughs> I don't think the I don't think I'm gonna work with the smaller tractors, man. God damn it. I told you to get the other one. You didn't listen. <laughs> you did say that. The forum I read said they would work. No, it said that it would pick up logs, and that's all you heard was <laughs> logs. No, it said it was it said it was better on the smaller tractors. The thirty was, but it also said it would work still on it. And <laughs> should I just I, I don't. I don't know you what those cheat? words you cheat, mean. You're cheat and teleport over here for a second because maybe I'm doing something wrong. I think here, let me get out of the tractor so you can teleport to the tractor. That motherfucker right there is so much bigger than this. <laughs> <laughs> Where would it connect to a bigger tractor? Let me let me look at the store. The, the store doesn't tell me. It does though. It says something there, and that's what I'm saying. We got it. You got to yes, figure it out. Yes, it says Steyr Multi Four One One Five versus Seven Hundred Vario. Right. You need to Google the that. The pictures. The pictures look identical. Yeah, I know. Maybe but these what... tractors just can't do it. Well, that's the thing. There isn't a tractor named Steyr Seven Hundred or whatever the fuck those words are. I looked. So it doesn't make any damn so, sense. I mean, if we buy this other one, I don't think the other one's gonna work either. What is a stire? Well, that's the... Maybe that's maybe that's another attachment or something. Google it. Google it right now. <laughs> Google Google, Google stire. The farming simulator. Which track door can I connect to the FZ? No, 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 no. Just Google. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. Right now. Star I'm trying to set up the new Holland tractor that comes with the game for the pallet fork. I bought the Stole FZ30 front loader and the Stole pallet fork. I modified the tractor for. Oh, I modified the tractor for a front loader. But I'm darned if I can figure out how to attach it. Have you bought the right front loader for the tractor? There are two sizes. The FC60 attached. Oh, apparently the 60 is the only one that attaches. But we have to modify this thing. Be able to tell which is for which. <laughs> this is great. There are two front loader kits. One for smaller tractors, one for larger ones. You should be able to tell uh, by which cost, which is which. Thank you, sir. Now, the Steyr 4115 is a kind of tractor. Uh, so both... Wait, he's talking about the NH8340. Both will attach with it just fine? Cruise control. Also, make sure your tractor is selected G key to attach the front loader arm when selected. G key. No, that doesn't help. We have to modify this thing in some way? How, How do you, you modify? modify? I, I don't have any idea.
Yeah, I found the Steyr Multi 4115. It's $82,000. Oh, is that all? Uh, what does it have that's different? And where's the modification shop? I want to waste all my money at the modification shop. I don't know. Hello? Modifier? I, I bet I go into our garage. And let's look at the case that I'm playing with. Uh, no, no, I don't want to sell you. Yeah, that's only if you double click on it. Stop corrupt. Wait, what? How do you. Wait, no one is there. Okay, so there's chances. I fixed the problem. I did have to buy the larger forks after I after that I installed it right away. So it looks like I did buy the right one, but. Uh, later, how to modify tractor for front loader. I did not expect this to be difficult. Looks like you the do starting it tractor, you buy something. Just to be clear, you're trying to hook up a front loader to a pallet horse. Sorry, I haven't had a chance. Uh, you have to customize the starting tractor to front loader setup. How? I don't know. Take the tractor to the shop and park it. It's like you're going to sell it. In the menu that comes up, there's a customize option. So... I guess you're in the tractor right now. I guess I would have to go to... Hold on, there's a... I'm going to go to the shop icon here. Oh, I probably have to... Oh, wait, here's a... Uh... Okay, so I'm in this thing. And now... No customize icon in there. There we go. Change cruise control. No. I'm waiting for something to change to tell me I can customize. But I don't see any such options. Configure or sell a vehicle. Hold on. Here we go. There we go. Customize. So where's it at? Front loader attacher, no. Yes, and it costs eight hundred dollars. Alright, do it. Shit. We can do the wheel setup of a wide tires if we wanted to. I don't know what it gains us, but we could do that. I still want to yes, know how we get gas. I'm so worried about this. Fuel, dude, fuel. So who knew you would have to purchase a customization on this tractor to do what it says it can already do? Well, did it say it could do it? You said you looked in the garage and it said we could do it. <gasps> Attach! I got it! Alright. You're getting there. Well, except for now I can't drive. It's it's what too the late. hell? <laughs> That's possible. Should have got the smaller I, one. I, I literally cannot. I can't drive this thing. Like I can go forward and backwards, but I cannot. It won't let me do it. Um. Um. <laughs> but the forum said I needed this one. No, they did. They said log, and you were like sold. It's log, it's yeah, log, it rolls log. downhill, it's log. It doesn't go down hills, it goes on stairs and under chairs. <laughs> <laughs> and, and over, over Listen, it's 2017, log can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> and it plays Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what do you think about the, um, the whole Netflix hack? Netflix got hacked? So, I guess it wasn't Netflix, it was a, a, a subsidiary company that does the the post-production or something like that. And they released the next season of Orange is the New Black on Torrent Sites. Oh, fuck, really? Yeah. It's fantastic. You didn't hear about that? No, I wish I had. I mean, I, yeah. I would have condemned Orange is the New it. Black? <laughs> yeah, I love that show. So uh, we it was just started watching it um, about two months ago now. We're, like, up to the fourth season. Um, so we just started the, the last season. It's better than I thought it was going to be. It's, uh, you became like Mario. It's a spicy meatball in the prison. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's better than I thought it would be. Um, 
So is yeah, it still it was, up uh, on torrent uh, sites? I have no idea. I just read the article about the other day. And well, and I read it because it was all it was one of those ransomware attacks. And, oh. and whatever company it was, whatever whatever group it was, I guess not a company. Uh, you know, in that case, the... Netflix should have responded by just releasing it. Well, and that's what I'm wondering what's about to happen because they haven't yet. I'm gonna have to buy this other one, aren't I? I'm kind of curious. Now. I'm gonna look and see, like, so, about this. yeah, Netflix. I mean, they they could respond by just releasing it, um, but it was. Uh, the interesting part was reading from the ransomware people who were saying that, you know, basically Netflix should have just, they, they released, they were going to release one episode if they didn't pay whatever ransom, they didn't say what the ransom it was. And since they didn't pay the ransom, they released one episode and they kept talking about how Netflix should have like understood that they were like businessmen and that they would, you know, this is a business agreement that they should have just, you know, agreed with. And yeah. done. And when they still didn't do anything about it and still pay their ransom, they released the rest of the Wow. The rest of the thing. And yeah, I don't know if you can still get it or not. Oh, you I'm can. not up to there yet. Oh, you can. And you did? No, I, mean, I, I didn't. It would never. It's it's illegal, Jeff. It's against the law. Okay, so I now have the pallet fork attached. Nice. You bring us home some and, Oh, yeah, except for I don't see where the buttons are to... Oh, there we go. Hold on. There we go. Oh, wow. This is... It's like mouse controls? So, can that you is... drive? Yes, but it's... It's mouse controls and very, very, very... Scary? <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to do all the controls with this thing. You can move up and down with the fork. Oh there we go. Oh god, yeah now I see it. Yeah, um, so it was uploaded basically five days ago, is what it looks like. Well, yeah, it was relatively recent. I'm surprised it hasn't been I can't say taken down yet because how did torrents really get taken down? Anyway. They sometimes do, but yeah, no, that's a hard thing to really do, right? <gasps> um, What's happening? Nothing. So what do you want to talk about, though? Oh, I was just going to see what your thoughts were on the, the, in, the industries such as Netflix and things like that getting hacked for ransomware, or ransomware in general. Because you know, remember, I was at the, you know, yeah. the hospital that was the victim of the ransomware attack and back in you know, over a year ago now. And it's just, it's weird because when this happened, it talked about how prevalent the ransomware attacks have been recently. And I'm like, you know what? I haven't heard about them nearly as much anymore. And it's making me wonder, are people just paying the ransoms? I imagine that happens quite a bit, man. The thing is, <clears throat> what I've learned from movies... <laughs> is that once the best you, place to learn? Well, you you blackmail never ends, right? Like Walter White taught me this. Which um, movie was Walter White in? Ah, uh, this is Breaking Bad. Oh, but do you remember what button it was to get um first person view? Get what? First person view. I don't was remember. It C? Man. Yeah, we'll see. It was C. Oh, that doesn't help me at all, though. <laughs> okay. I'm like the Exorcist. I can turn my head 360 degrees. Well, I guess not the Exorcist himself, but like the little girl in the Exorcist. That's a horror movie. I think it's an adventure. <laughs> it was an adventure. Um, but anyways, go on about the ransomware and how ransom never ends. I mean, it's not going to end, right? You pay them once. Why don't they just... I mean, I guess in the case of this with the Netflix one, they could have paid them off and then released their shit, right? But then why would they pay them off if they're just going to release it yeah. anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, and maybe that's why they talked about it internally, and we're like, well, we'll just release our shit. Fuck them. They're not going to... They're not going to... They have not ruined Netflix, you know what I mean? Netflix shouldn't have paid. I think Netflix did the right thing. I would uh, completely agree with that. So, the... In the hospital industry, 
one of the reasons that my hospital did, and I can't say what other reasons there were, like not because I can't say, but because I really don't know what was going through their minds when, you know, the big ways made the decision. It wasn't somebody like me who made the decision of, oh, we're not going to pay for this. It was, you know, a lot higher up on the food chain. But they decided not to pay because Hollywood Presbyterian, which was the first mainstream hospital over in California that had gotten caught with the ransomware and made it public that they had gotten caught with this ransomware, they did pay. What most people don't know is once they paid and the company realized who they were and what a big corporation it was, they said, oh, by the way, it's not enough money. You need to pay us more. Right. And they paid again. And it's because a lot of this ransomware, is just it's just random. Somebody's yeah. putting it out there and hoping it gets picked up by somebody. And if they're lucky enough, they catch a huge corporation versus like a very small business. See, that's, that's what I mean pay. by that. Like, it never ends. Like... They, 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 once they, once you've paid, it's like, mm. oh, we, we're, we're going to come back for more money, or, or if you do pay and they, and they, you know, do whatever they need to do, if it's if it's information they have on you, if they're blackmailing you, they can just come back to you in six months, you know, and say, all right, we need more money now. It's time time to pay again. The only thing you can do mm -hmm. against people that try to blackmail you is murder them, really. <laughs> so I guess what's the, what's the but what's the thing that you would have done? So red is the new or orange is the new black. I mean, that is one that's out there. So let's say you pay because you didn't want that released. Then how many other videos did they get? Because th this group, the same group, apparently has claimed to get a bunch of um, videos and seasons from places NB ABC, NBC. Because what they hacked into wasn't you know Netflix. It was some post production company right. that works for many of them. So where does this one end? Right. I mean, yeah, they're probably gonna fuck a lot of people over. And I'm surprised you hadn't heard about it because I thought it was. I don't keep really up with cool that stuff as much anymore. Like I don't watch. I haven't watched anything hardly at all. I watched the new Net, the new Dave Chappelle series only because I was stuck in a hotel. I just haven't. I haven't been keeping up with entertainment as much here in the last you know, six or seven months. Um, so I haven't watched a lot of anything. I had like a how ritual you... where like I would watch TV and drink, and now that I don't drink, I don't watch TV. <laughs> oh God! I just um, here I threw seed at the field for you. <laughs> I, I couldn't get it on the forks right. I don't quite know how to use these forks. It's a little confusing to me. Um, so I just basically stabbed it and got it here. <laughs> But now I can't, like spilling now it came off seed the everywhere as you go because <laughs> yeah, it's got a hole I mean, in the side of it. This whole episode is me trying to move the seed. Oh my god! And I'm just like, I hope people don't watch this for the realism. What were you gonna say though? Um. Oh, how do you watch uh, Netflix? You said you watched uh, Netflix at the hotel. Yeah, Watching just, it like on your computer? Do you yeah, have a Chromecast? No, it's my laptop. Because I definitely always bring a Chromecast with me to whenever I go places, and I it's sometimes difficult to get Netflix working. But I was about to say, I bet that's when hard I, whenever the the router's not in your room. Like it's it's down. sometimes difficult just because it's uh, the ones that make you log in. You uh, need to have a uh, one of those little travel routers essentially and i do have one but it doesn't work at all hotels appropriately i see sometimes they work like completely out of the box without any issues at all and no i just watched it on my mac basically see i hate having like a nice big tv in front of me and then watching something on actually on like... such a small screen god dang it I don't understand how to get the right view to see how these forks are getting into my... Is there other views that we're missing besides C? <laughs> I want a better view. You can zoom in. I do. I mean, I thought, I thought I've seen people be able to look at the like their, their forks and stuff to know how well they're lined up. I know I am not getting that. I did just buy a new monitor. Um, I finally got one that's higher than 1080p resolution, uh -huh. so that I can actually 
play games in 1080p and record them in full 1080p without having to like have a different resolution. I'm surprised and, um, that you had the monitor that small. I didn't realize that. That uh, it's it, I I've looked for better monitors uh, like on sale because I don't want to spend like eight hundred dollars on some random monitor. Yeah. And the the most monitors for sale are 1080p monitors. Hmm. Very very rarely do you find ones that are higher resolution than that. Um, and I coincidentally happen to be one of the lucky people who lives in a state that has, or lives next to a state, I guess, that has a micro center. The center had a really good deal. Micro center is an amazing place. But it is kind of cool because now I have this huge monitor that I'm not used to. And, you know, I'm playing a 1080p game and in a window in the middle of my screen. So I, it, it, it helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I always play. Now that I've got this mode. stupid thing here, I can't get the seeds off. <laughs> I finally got them on the fork, and I'm in the place I want to put them. I can't get them off. You don't seem like you're very good with this. Nope. <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it. It was smooth. It was beautiful. Uh, ah, there we go. The seeds for you, good. Nice. It only took like a couple seconds. It yeah, simple. it was pretty, pretty fast, really. You, you really knocked it out of the park. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh... Oh, I roll. No, I don't know how to get rid of this front loader, though. Can I leave so the front loader there? it's going to be super there? old news by the time this video goes out, but also I took my grandma's What, well, that back. orange is the new black? Well, yeah, that, too. That's, that is, yeah, out. right. That's It's probably out on Netflix. People are like, what are they talking about? Um, <laughs> They're like, why would you watch this thing that's already on Netflix? <laughs> Make it's sense. kind of funny because I was wondering a couple days ago, like, when, when the new Orange is the New Black coming out? It's got to be soon. Um, I guess it's out, technically. Were um, you wondering because you ransomed the company? Right, and, right. and they did not. <laughs> hey! They actually released the thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to pay, and they didn't. Uh, oh, yeah, no, but my, uh, you know that Dr. Chow guy on the United flight? Um, yeah. Yeah. So my grandma yeah. just randomly brought that up while I was taking her to the doctor, and she was like, I can't believe that man wouldn't get off that flight. Why, what was so wrong with him? Why did he have to bother those airline people like that? And I was like, Are, what? What? Yep. What a, what a dick guy is. I know. Is, it field, just, 14, is field 14 done being planet, or is it field 12? Um, right now, I am. I don't, I don't. Whenever you say these numbers, it never means anything to me. It's on the map at the bottom left. Oh, it sure is, you know. I am currently <laughs> harvesting field 14. Okay, so 12 is the one I need to go, like, fertilize. Oh, yeah, you're doing a fertilization. Yeah, as long as you've actually planted this field. I think it's better to fertilize when the field is empty, right? Like, there's nothing on it, because you can actually see where the fertil fertilization is going. Probably. I've never fertilized before, so I have no idea. Yeah, when I did it before, it was pretty cool. Whenever you, whenever there's nothing on the field, because you, you just get to see like the, the dirt gets moist, <laughs> moist and crispy. Those are the two words. This Do you agree with Doctor Chow? I mean, I don't think he should have got beat up. I don't think that airlines. I think all of this is kind of a flawed fuck up of, of a system, to be honest. Like, the way they oversell the tickets, and then based on your status with the company. I mean, basically, he got he got hunger gamed or something, you know? It was like, all right, well, you know, we got someone else we need on this plane, and you are the lowest common denominator based on how many flights you've taken with us, how much you paid for your ticket. So you're you're the you're you're worth the least to us. We have decided. They say they randomly decide it, but they don't randomly decide it. Well, like, they came out with the the algorithm that uh, makes the decision. And is it based and on flight status and uh, it, class it is. fare? It's completely. It's based on your ticket price first. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It was how much you paid for your ticket first. Uh, well, I guess not first because if you're a static. Right. With that airline of any type, it, it's not based on that unless everybody on the flight is a status. Right. Um, but so it was then it was price, what tier you were in the status if you were a status, and like, you know, I don't know if it was how many flights you've taken or what, but yeah. uh, people traveling with families were exempt. 
and people with disabilities were exempt. I'm trying to remember it's all the all the details. One came out, a video that came out this morning about a, of Delta flight. Did you see that one? Maybe because there's been so many videos that have come out because of this Chow thing. Yeah. Which I think is good. I think it's really actually good for the industry because I think the airlines did get away with it for way too long that they get away with. Well, the Delta and one's now, kind of bullshit, and I know people are going to say I'm biased because I like Delta. But so here's the here's the Delta deal. Um, family of uh, four. Uh, they have an infant in arms situation. They did not buy the infant in arms a ticket. They have a, a younger son. I don't know his exact age, but gathering from the video, I would imagine he's old enough to fly alone, but not like a teenager. Um, so like maybe like eight or something. I, I don't, again, I don't know. There might that information might have been available, but it, it wasn't apparently like abundantly clear whenever watching this video. So um, they had found a cheaper flight for the son they had bought a seat for. His name was Mason. Um, not that it really matters, but you know, it'll make it easier in the future. No, no, no. I, I've got to get involved in the in this horror movie. <laughs> Mason, gotcha. <laughs> got to determine who the monster is. <laughs> um, so the video uh, they they had they had bought Mason another ticket on another flight. He had boarded already, and he he was on his way. He was gone, um, and they decided to give their infant in arms a, Mason's seat on the flight they were currently on. Well, since Mason had not checked in for the flight, Delta put a standby passenger in that seat. And they were telling the man that he needed to take his son out of that seat because that seat was now... He did not purchase a ticket for that seat? He had purchased a ticket for that seat for Mason. Well, you, you, okay, you did not fulfill the obligation of the ticket right. for that seat. Right, right. The, the person that was supposed to be in that seat had checked in on another flight. He was not checked in for this flight, and he wasn't there. And the guy was basically saying, I'm not, I'm not picking my son up out of this seat. And then so the woman was like, well, then you can all leave. And he's like, I'm not leaving. I paid for this seat. Um, and my son, my infant's going to sit there. And then she, she, she said something she shouldn't have, which was, well, we're going to forcibly remove you. And then, uh, and then, then you're going to go to prison for a federal or go to jail for a federal offense. And then your sons are going to end up in foster care. And she should have said that. That was stupid. Um, so that's where she fucked up. Yes. Delta, Delta employees yeah. said stupid thing. But uh, I do think the whole situation was created by someone that should have known that that seat wasn't theirs anymore once their son didn't check in for that flight. Well, and it probably was, and it's something that they would not have done had the whole Dr. Chow video not come out because now the airlines are under such scrutiny, probably thought that they could get away with something like that. Right. Which, or it would have been a non-story a long time ago because people would have oh god I just oh my god never mind um they, people wouldn't have tried to say because these people probably put the story out there themselves because they are because people might have done this in the past and these people are now trying to capitalize on what happened because of everything even if it wasn't the reason it happened in the first place yeah so oh, I think it would have been a non-story before because if this, if they had still had that same attitude after it was all said and done, they probably would not have fought with the, you know, made it public as they would have realized they would have gotten scrutinized for their actions. Oh my God, I left the pallet fork at the house. I came all, I bought fertilizer because we were out and I came all the way out here to pick it up and I had dropped the pallet fork off and forgot. <laughs> But luckily, I brought the fertilizer thing with me, so I just filled it up here. So, yes, we can do that. Turns right. Well, yeah, I figured we could. The, is... So, the one thing, one thing I don't understand about planes is how come it's such a big deal standing up on the plane when you're taxiing? Well, have you ever seen a plane wreck in the, in, at, at, while taxiing? Do I think I have a better chance in a seat versus standing in a plane wreck? Yeah, man, it's like a car wreck. Like, so, it's, like you're driving at like 50 miles said, an hour, right? Wouldn't the same be said for a bus? Well, yeah, I think it's fucking bullshit that you can stand up on buses and just hold on to little leather straps. But, that shit's but dumb. Yeah, how, but how is it allowed that I can just stand up on the goddamn bus, but on a 
I don't or know. If, if it's an airplane that's sitting on a taxiway. If I stand up out of my seat, the whole plane has to stop and nobody gets to go where they're going anymore. Like one of the most recent guys that got kicked off of one of the flights was because they were delayed and like sitting on the tarmac for 45 minutes and he got up to use the bathroom. So then they told him he had to leave because he was not allowed to stand up during, you know, active taxiing, quote unquote active taxiing. And oh, that's therefore bullshit. he got I've kicked, used off, the kicked off the plane. Taxiing. Yep, because you're on an active tarmac. You're not allowed to get out of your seat. Why? Huh. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why can't I get out? The, I understand why you won't let me stand up while we're f taking off and landing, because it's really fast movement of the plane, and you could probably lose your balance. But you can stand up while you're flying, right? Right. Right. Except Unless they turn that seatbelt sign on for some odd reason, because they will still sometimes turn that seatbelt sign on. I forgot I gotta go do this field. We'll turn it back on and be like, we have turbulence, so we're turning the seatbelt sign on, and all of a sudden that gives them power to force you to sit in your seat with the seatbelt on. <laughs> Which I found kind of funny. Because I'm a grown-ass man. If you let me stand up on other times in the in the plane, I don't care if there's turbulence. Let me stand up if I want to. Like, you're going to stop me from using the bathroom because of that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've totally used the bathroom while sitting in the tarmac before. But I guess I just... Like, oh, ask. I've tried to... I've tried to get up before when there was when, when I was delayed on a um, on you know taxiing. They were like, "Oh, we're a delay. It's going to be about forty five minutes before we can move." And I was like, "Oh, okay, fine." And I stood up out of my seat to go to the bathroom, and I got yelled at by an attendant to wow. sit back down. Like, and she looked at me like I should know this, and she was like, "We're on an active on a, a, an active tarmac, sir." And I was like. I don't know what the fuck that means, but... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> okay. I, I understand the logic here of another... Even, you know, this plane is stationary. We're not moving. Some dumbass other pilot could technically run into that plane, and that would suck. It would, you'd be much safer if you were sitting down. Yeah, but wouldn't I be safer if I was sitting down with an empty bladder? <laughs> I don't know that the, the contents of your bladder... Oh, 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 con oh, contraire. If you get in a car accident with a full bladder, there's a higher probability your bladder explodes. Well. Haven't you ever heard that you're supposed to use the bathroom before you go on any car ride because of that fact? See, now that sounds like a life that's like, too stressful. Like an old wives' tale? It very well could be an old wives' tale. I don't know. I didn't make it up. I just heard it, so I spread it because, you know, that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, it might be true. I, I Wait, you're a medical professional. You can't say things that sound medical if they're as, just bullshit. As a, medical professional, as a medical professional and an EMT, none of my classes have talked to me about exploding bladders. Okay. It's not Honestly, a, a you know typical what? medical emergency. I think your bladder is less likely to explode if there's contents inside of it. It's like it, 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 it becomes more like, it, it yeah, it's more jiggly. It's more jiggly, but, but well, actually, I don't think your bladder is likely to explode it on on an average in an average car wreck either way. I would guess that that last statement is probably the most accurate. The likelihood of your bladder exploding, no matter what, is very very slim, and the likelihood might slightly increase if it's full or yeah. empty. Like, or one of the states could probably give it a likelihood of, of increasing compared to the other one. But I bet it's so minuscule. Like the Coriolis effect. Oh, the what's effect a Coriolis? It doesn't really... Huh? So what's a Coriolis? The Coriolis effect? Like with the spinning water in a toilet? That really has nothing to do with it? What? What makes the tides and whirlpools and stuff turn one direction in one hemisphere? I don't know. Wait, what? You've never heard of the Coriolis effect? I saw it on the that Simpsons episode where they were in another country. Yes, and it was absolutely wrong, but that was the concept of the Coriolis effect. Yes, I never, I never cared enough to know why that works. I, have, I assume it has something to do with the well, Earth it does, and like rotations it, and things. It, so it doesn't work in the context the Simpsons told you it worked in, but it doesn't work in a toilet. It works on the higher levels of like the you know whirlpools in the ocean and natural like. Weather events and things like that. It doesn't uh, work on small scale. So when you drain your bathtub, it doesn't work? No. The whole reason why your water spins one way or the other is mainly based on... For one, many most toilets are designed that are pointed one direction to make the water swirl to clean it better. But even if they weren't, it's more defect... If it was made perfectly straight, it's more defects in the bowl that happen to make the water spin one direction or the other. Hmm. I always thought it was... 
all water span is span spun a certain way based on like where you were on the no board. it's like the whole thing was standing an egg on the side on on its end at the equinox and it's because of the way the poles line up with the Coriolis effect and how it could make things like the gravitational pull and blah 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 and all that shit's like you know complete bullshit it's complete bullshit huh. so I'm told maybe I was told it was bullshit because it's really not Illuminati confirmed you know I don't know I'm not right. the guy who did the research. I'm just the guy who listened to the guy who claims he knows an uncle who did the research. <laughs> well, we're out of time, Jeff. Well, Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> Hi, everybody. See ya.